Hey guys, I just want to do a really quick video here. Uh, I'm working on learning more about decentralization in general and IPFS, and it's becoming more and more popular with uh, NFTs and stuff like that here. So I want to do a really quick video here and something that kind of confused me for a little bit, just to kind of help some people out here. So with um, IPFS and the way it kind of works here is if you upload something to the network here, you get this hash string right from here. So it's like, okay, cool. This is the way I reference that information there. But it's like, well, how do I access that? Like if I'm writing a simple HTML web page, if I'm trying to get this information down in some type of application, how do I get that? Because I can't just pop this in there and have that work. It's a little more difficult than that. So the first thing that they talk about is if you have the Brave browser here, you can just type in IPFS colon slash slash, and that can load your content. Just as a proof of concept here, IPFS uh, colon slash slash, and you can paste your hash string, which I already have right there. This is just a sample PDF that I uploaded through Pinata um, just to see how it would kind of work here. But anyways, that's how it would work with Brave Browser. But what if I didn't have Brave Browser? What if I was trying to do it through some type of, uh, uh, through like an HTML, like a running out an HTML page or something like that there? How would I go about doing that? Well, it's actually pretty simple to do here. And there's two different ways I've found which are actually pretty good here. The first one here is to use uh, Pinata. And Pinata is a way to kind of access IPFS. Um, there, I'm not the most educated with this stuff yet, so if I make a little mistake with my wording, please forgive me here. But they're a gateway service. So the IPFS network, you need something to kind of tap in that network. And basically, uh, Pinata is able to kind of do that there. So all that you have here, here's your link here, https colon slash slash gateway dot dot cloud forward slash IPFS here. And this hash string is what your content's going to be there. So you guys saw before with the Brave browser, it was just IPFS colon slash slash and then your hash string here. This is the way you can access that stuff through basic HTTPS here. And this would work if you're running out of node application or really anything here, because this is the same as just kind of pasting it in your browser, right? If I just kind of copy this from here and I go to a guest page here and I paste that in there, now it loads that PDF just like you saw in the Brave browser, okay? Now, if I wanted to here, of course, I could put it in an HTML application here. I'm going to save this here. This is already queued up right here, and I can refresh it here. And now I have this uh, little PDF here within. It's embedded in my web page. Now, the other way to do it here, I'm going to go ahead and comment out this line here. It's going to be very similar here. Basically, we're just using a different gateway server. Now, I'm going to actually copy this here and paste this down below here. Instead of using Pinata's uh, gateway server here, I'm going to use IPFS.io forward slash IPFS for, followed by my hash. So I can save this here. And again, just as proof of concept, I'm going to copy this link here. Copy, go back to my Chrome. And let's paste that right there. And I get, I'll be a little bit slower here this time. It's dang it's time. Hopefully this works here. It should work. Yeah, there we go. So now I get the same content here, but now this is served up by IPFS's gateway service. And if I refresh this web page too, you can see it's still loaded within here. Okay. So I hope that helps you guys out. Again, you know, this hash here represents the content and all that you have to do to access that information through something that doesn't necessarily support uh, like native IPFS, like the Brave browser did here. You can just use this gateway server or Pinata's gateway server. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. So if you guys learned something, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. And if you guys really enjoyed it here, I do offer some Udemy courses, albeit not on blockchain, just some different Unity and Python topics, and some cloud services too. So if you guys are interested, be sure to check them out. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys next time.